What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another crappy video. So, I wanted to do a bunch of stuff today, but we gotta put them on the back burner because yesterday I was supposed to get my new tires put on the van, but the, the local guy that was gonna do it got super swamped with work, and so he wasn't able to get to my van, so we rescheduled it for Friday. It's 100% sure that he's gonna do it on Friday. I'm also really tired and slow this morning, so if I sound like it, I am. <laughs> Since I don't have new tires, we're not gonna be able to do the things I wanna do because of this back left tire here that's right below me leaks about 20 pounds of air a day, and my spare tire doesn't hold air at all. So I don't feel safe driving that down the highway going 65 anymore. <laughs> So we're going to have to stay pretty local today. So this is probably going to be another super chill, uh, crappy video. <laughs> what a shocker. That's pretty much all I can think of this morning. So all my plans pretty much changed. So we're just going to have to wing it today. I'm going to finish this coffee. And then we're going to go change the oil on this thing right away. And then we'll figure out what to do from there. Alrighty, everyone. So co-workers let me use their shop. He doesn't have any ramps but he does have jack stands so i'm just gonna jack it up a little bit so i can get the oil off yeah let's do this all right so i got a big jack on this side got a big jack on this side wheels are chalked i think it will be good so i still got the skid plate on mine i did put an emergency uh thing in case these jacks do fall i won't get crushed all right everyone i can't get my bolt loose at all Come on, there we go. Got it. Yeah, she's coming out now. All right, looks like oil is done dripping. Oh no, I think I looks like it. Oh, come on. All right, so I'm gonna do a little trick my dad taught me. When you put an oil filter on, you pre-fill it. That way when you start the motor, you don't have a dry tick of oil trying to get through the filter. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. All right, don't spill, don't spill. Come on, baby, get on there. All righty, let's fill her up. All right, everyone. I reset the monitor. Let's fire it up and <laughs> see if it leaks. She's looking good. We have not seen any leaks. I think we're good. Alrighty, so oil change was a success. I'm down here at uh, my usual chill spot here. Alright, so I'm still sitting here. The sun came out, so I decided to put a little charge on my battery here. It looks like it's getting to a full charge here pretty quick. So I'm gonna take off once this uh, charge is up. All right, everyone, I've been sitting here letting this charge. It's pretty much at a full charge now. I've been trying to get my Ford Sync to work and uh, I just can't get this stupid thing to work anymore. So I think it's, I think it's fried and glitched out to the point where it needs to get like replaced or something. I'm gonna have to look more into that. But uh, I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna stop at the hotel and try to shower. Alrighty everyone, so I'm back at the site here. Shower went good. I picked up another pizza. Just a supreme pizza. Kettle River, I've never had this one. Made in Minnesota. So we're gonna be cooking that over a fire. And another thing I forgot to mention actually. <laughs> so my Coleman stove, I, uh, I kinda accidentally ran it over <laughs> one night. And it's like completely, completely destroyed. Yep, it, it doesn't work. The tubing down here is busted off. I ran it over and just completely annihilated it. So that's pretty cool. All right, well, here's the old site of Rooney. I've been to this one many times. This is the one that overlooks the river here. I can't believe nobody has taken this spot in the past like week and a half I've been coming here. You know what, I'll take it. In my earlier videos, actually, there's some random stairs here. 
Yeah, these random stairs just kind of lead down to the river and there's like a little platform down there. It's pretty cool actually. I'm pretty sure I made a video about going down there and I like fell a bunch of times or something. All right, everyone. We're gonna do a little bushcraft fire with the ferro rod. Should work out. All right, I'm gonna resort to plan B here. Got a piece of birch. I'm gonna peel off some of the edges here. Yes. Yes, we did it. Wasn't the best me method, but you know what? It worked. All right, I got the pizza down. It's 100% gonna get burnt to a crisp, but that's gonna be all right. Yeah, this fire pit kind of sucks because the grill sits so low. This pizza is already like black. Oh, I guess I'm gonna eat a really crispy pizza tonight. Guys, check this out. The pizza is literally on fire on the top. That's pretty cool. <laughs> well, that just happened. It totally just like caught in flames. <laughs> it is burnt to an absolute crisp. <laughs> oh. All right, well, here's the state of the pizza. It's a... Uh, Crispy. <laughs> Super crispy. Oh. Alright, ready to hear the crunch? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Oh. Very crispy on the bottom. I mean, it's edible. I don't know if it's edible. Alright everyone, my batteries are down on my flashlight, but I just spilt water everywhere. All over my fridge, all over the floor. Oh, this is just lovely. It's 3 a.m. right now, and I just woke up freezing. It was like 30, 35 degrees in here maybe. So I just kicked on the diesel heater. Why that thing is so freaking amazing. It already feels pretty nice in here so. Yep, winter's coming. All right everyone, good morning. It is super, super cold this morning. <laughs> it definitely was like almost a freezing. So, so the guy is going to put the new tires on today, so I figured I would vlog today. Uh, I'm not going to say much right now, and probably not going to say much after work, but I'll just show the tires. They're just regular generic tires, and then, yeah, that's pretty much all that's going on. Okay, so it's after work. It's really late. I ended up staying kind of late. It got, yeah, just slammed busy right at the end. And so they did put, the guy did put new tires on my van. And boy, does this thing ride like super smooth compared to my old tires. But yeah, uh, I'm just going to end it here. That's all I got for this week. So make sure you stay tuned and watch next week's video so you can see my new tires. Thanks for watching and all. Peace.